up in bed with a nice book, a hot cup of tea, and lighting my incense because it, it smells so good. And I'd recommend everyone doing something for yourself at least once a week, if not more. Try two, three, two, three times a week, but build yourself up to that point until you can get there. But I hope everyone's staying safe. Hi, so I have two ways that I take care of my mental health. First, I make sure I prioritize sleep and rest. Often with hustle culture and everyone being so busy, um, it's common to take things onto your plate and you're very, you know, you become very tired. And so it's very important to get adequate rest and that's why I'm a big proponent of napping. Napping is so important. The other thing I like to do is mindfulness. I have a mindfulness book. It's a great book, recommend it. And it has a lot of tips and tricks to calm yourself down when you're feeling anxious. And those are my tips. One thing I like to do to take care of my mental health is to make sure that I get enough sleep because sleep makes me feel a lot better and a lot less stressed. I take care of my mental health during isolation by scheduling in times during the day to work and times for rest. Um, every day I also like to get in some exercise and movement whether it's a walk or a home workout. One way that I like to take care of my mental health is by going on walks and I try and do this at least once a day whether it's with my housemates or by myself. Just make sure that I get a break and get some fresh air. So my mental health tip would be to take frequent breaks in between studying to make sure that you don't burn out. I usually like to do this by either listening to my favorite music or by scrolling through Instagram. I would also recommend utilizing apps like Focus To Do, which use the Pomodoro technique to make sure that you don't procrastinate too much. Thank you. I take care of my mental health during the pandemic by realizing that I'm juggling a lot of things right now and that it's okay for me to drop a couple of them in order to prioritize my mental, my physical, and my emotional health. Hi! So one thing I do to take care of my mental health while I'm in isolation is to make boundaries of in my house where I work and where I have like time for myself and time for self-care because I feel that having one location for everything makes it really difficult to take care of your mental health because it seems like school's taking up your whole space. So having those boundaries is really important. It's really helped me as well if I need to take a step back from school and focus on my mental health. Hi everyone. So my mental health tip would be to use a planner every day or some sort of calendar because when my life feels organized and I know what I have to do for each day, my brain as a result is less cluttered and I can focus on what matters the most to me. That's my tip. Thanks everyone. One thing I like to do to take care of my mental health is to find new music and to make new playlists because music always calms me down and makes me happier. What I like to do for self-care is go out for walks with my housemates, um, go and explore a little bit around the area that we live in, um, enjoy the sunsets when they're really nice and just get outside and get some fresh air.